Today we're making a uh, beef stew with cow foot. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna put some oil in my pan, right? And then I'm gonna cut up this strip of beef, but I'm gonna cut it into cubes. So I'm gonna cut it like that into cubes of beef. It's okay to put the fat in there because the fat provides flavor as soon as I cut my beef into cubes I'm gonna put it in my hot pan and we're just gonna sear off our meat crazy chef big vibe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some cow foot in this recipe just for a vibe the chef big vibe I'm gonna give it a quick stir I'm gonna add some dry rub to this all this is is that crazy chef dry rub and it's a uh, onion powder garlic powder a little bit of paprika a little bit of Larry's seasoning salt and a little bit of old bay spice then i'm gonna add my cow foot in there and if you know me whenever i make something whether i make a dish i like to give it a vibe so the vibe for this is this uh cow foot so i'm gonna add some cow foot in my beef stew All right it is getting a little cold where I live so you know we try to make more hearty type of meals then I'm gonna add some beef stock so I'm gonna add some beef stock and then I'm gonna make this reduce for a while crazy chef if it's your first time here please considering subscribing to the channel you know check us out check out a couple of our videos we bring a vibe we try to do things a little bit different over here but we still try to keep it up there's a chef so now you just want to simmer now you just want to simmer your stew because you want your you want your cow foot, right? Look at those cow foot. You want your cow foot. So, because it's all bone marrow. All the cow foot is, is bone marrow. All the bone marrow does is just give you flavor. So you want your cow foot to just slowly, slowly, slowly cook. So all that goodness from here just goes in your stew and gives it that additional flavor people make the sauce they sear the beef they add the sauce to the beef so what I did was I added some onions some bell peppers some potatoes some garlic and a little bit of fresh thyme and if you see right here if you look at my my bone marrow right it's all hollow right let's just take it so if you look at my bone marrow right, it's hollow so that's just telling you that uh the slow simmer is you know working so everything is coming together pretty good and usually when you make a good beef stew, I think the, the, 
the slower you simmer it is better and me i like to put some tomatoes in there the tomatoes help with my uh my sauce so crazy chef big vibe yeah look at that coffee see that that's my uh my coffee Now, see the comfort, all that uh, starts to, you know, the bones are all good and the meat starts to separate from the bone, right? Our potatoes still keep form. So, in a couple, a couple more minutes, maybe 10, 15 more minutes, we should have beef stew ready. I'm just going to allow this, uh, I added some more beef stock so i'm gonna allow it to simmer for another 10 20 minutes crazy chef look at that good look at uh here, let me let me show you the post yeah look at that coat see that yeah. look how tender look how tender that coat is that's what I really need to do. Look at that. Why? That's a beef stew. If you ever make beef stew and it doesn't look like this, you're not making beef stew. Joke. If your beef stew don't look like this, it's a joke. Yeah. 